Hello everybody. We are trying to unbreak um, TP-Link TL-WA-7510N. As you can see I had to remove the label from the back to unscrew the two screws that uh, hold this together. And then the router comes uh, right out of the box. So, on the board we have here the serial GTAG uh, connector. Of course it, it was not uh, uh, wired on the board so uh, I had to, uh, to solder the pins. And uh, if, you, uh, so if you look from uh, left to right, uh, there is the receive pin, the, uh, sorry, the transmit pin, the receive pin and the ground. Okay. Uh, you also need a USB to TTL adapter and I will uh, I will uh, start the router now I will apply the power and uh, we will see on the putty serial screen the boot up uh, we need this in order to uh, to uh, set the root password for SSH because uh, I can uh, ping the equipment now but I cannot SSH into it because uh, the SSH is not enabled so uh, we will uh, set up the password for SSH and then I will uh, win SCP to throw in the firmware and uh, try to rewrite the firmware of the router okay I guess the Buddha process is uh, finished so uh, we will uh, write password and uh, I will give it a root password so the username is root the password is also root now okay so we have the password change now we switch to um, to win SCP Okay, and uh, this is the IP that my uh, router got from the DACP server, but uh, it's not uh, doing nothing, so I cannot connect uh, via web browser or via SSH to this IP. So I have uh, root and password is also root. So we log in now. And uh, we are on the device. And we are on the root folder now and going into temporary. And now uh, I will... Uh, I will uh, search for the firmware. It is on a stick. Okay, and I will upload this to the device. Okay, now we are going back and we are going into temp. As, uh, as you can see I, I can see the firmware so we are going to sys upgrade minus V and uh, the firmware name
sorry it's what with capitals letter <coughs> okay and uh, we are now pressing enter and hope everything will go fine so the firmware is writing now <laughs> I will pause it here so the freeware uh, the firmware is uploaded and uh, as you can see I guess everything is okay now everything is up at this time yeah and we also got the login for the original firmware now let me see I guess it's admin and admin at password mm, no Oh, okay it doesn't matter let me check if uh, if I can see the device now I will do an IP scan So <clears throat> after a scan I got here the IP of the TP link. Okay, so we are trying to access it via the web browser on the default version the stripped one. So yeah. Uh, a quick short info in order for this to work you have to to write in you have to write in the the stripped version of the firmware I want to show you again the name So this is the name of the version you have to, to use. Okay, so yeah, thank you for watching this. Hope it uh, it uh, will work for you guys also. Forgot to mention at the Gtag uh, connector the last uh, pin that I have not used is the 3.3 .3 volts pin but uh, I do not need that for for this so I will put this uh, all together update the firmware again and uh, that's it thank you very much for watching bye